Aloha and welcome to the video. So this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I recently got this piece back in the mail. This is an older piece of mine and as you can see it has some broken teeth on it. Um, and I noticed while I was looking at it that I kind of didn't like how I did some of the finishing work towards the underside of the handle. And so I'm actually going to refinish that as well. So if I was just going to replace the teeth, it'd be a relatively simple endeavor. But since I'm going to be refinishing the rest of the piece too, I'm going to have to be taking off that, sending it down. And usually when I would do that, I'd cut off the lanyard, the wrist strap, and just make a new one. But I really liked this one. <laughs> just, uh, for some reason, I I really like the way that I did the... The, the, the twist on it, the feathers are really nice. It's a, it's a really pretty hand wrap, and so I decided I'm just going to keep this one. And so in order to protect it, or at least to keep it clean, I'm wrapping it in some cloth and then some painter's tape, and that'll prevent it from getting covered in any, any type of sawdust or uh, dust from the teeth when I go to grind them out. Um, it'll just keep that clean. So the first step here is I need to cut out and remove all of the lashing. Now that's a pretty simple task. It's usually a little bit faster just to cut the lashing all the way down and then pull out the individual threads rather than unlash the entire thing. Um, one thing obviously that I could do is I could undo the knotting, uh, unlash just a couple sections, but because I lashed going up and coming back down, I'd have to unlash the entire piece. And so it's just faster to cut the whole thing off and then relash it with brand new cordage uh, at the end. So the first step here is just going to be removing these chunks of tiger shark teeth. Uh, like most of my pieces, I used a little bit of epoxy when I set these in. That's why the tiger shark teeth are just pulling out super simple, is they're kind of held in place with that little bit of glue that was in there. Uh, this one piece here is kind of a pain, wasn't quite popping out as nicely. Um, but what I'm trying to do, or at least what I'm trying to avoid doing, is damaging the surrounding coal wood just because if if I <laughs> there's not a whole lot of material on this small little dagger it's pahoa and so if I damage the surrounding material I, I I might have to make a whole new piece and I'd rather not do that just because this is going back to a client and so I, I don't want to uh, send them a completely different piece <laughs> I'd like for them to get back the original piece just with some uh, fixes and, and updates to the piece. So the next step here is going to be grinding out what's left of the teeth as well as the glue so that way it's a nice clean slot. Um, once I had got that grinded out I decided to go ahead and start working on the underside of the handle. Now I do have to be a little bit careful because it's very thin going from the underside of the handle to the top side of the edge. So I want to make sure that I don't sand through and accidentally connect the slot where the teeth is to the underside there that'd be unfortunate so I just barely smoothed it down enough to get rid of some of those grooves and then the next thing that I'm doing here is cleaning up the edge work on the design so this is definitely an older piece of mine probably a few years old now um, maybe even close to five years old but I can tell from the design work that I did on it that it's just a different style from what I do now and I like what I do now a little bit better. <laughs> so I'm doing just a little bit of un an update on the handle there just to clean up that edge. And you'll see that at the end, uh, but it didn't take too much time to clean that up. The next step here is I need to sand it down. Now the finish that I'm sanding off is just a light finish. Uh, and so I'm sanding it actually with a 320 grit. I'm not taking it down to a lower grit just because it's not needed. All I need to do is expose that outer layer of koa and I can re-oil it and refinish it. Now I do want to be careful though as I sand. I need to be careful not to accidentally hook the sanding disc on the teeth. I need to be careful not to sand into the wrist straps so that I, I fray it. So I have to be a little bit careful and also make sure that I have good edges as I'm sanding. Um, so it's kind of a pain actually. <laughs> Again, this would be way easier if all I needed to do was replace the teeth. All I would have done is remove the lashing, take out the uh, bad sections, replace those with new teeth, uh, reset them into place, drill the holes, and relash it, uh, which is usually what I do for most pieces that I get back. 
is uh, just fixing up the teeth on the piece. Now for this piece here, uh, they were smaller teeth and so it took quite a while for me to find some teeth that would match that size. Luckily I had some, uh, but that they're, they're not perfect, but again, they're, they're teeth. And so you can't expect them all to be perfectly the same every single time. Um, I was lucky enough to find some that were close enough to match. And so I'm first putting in a little bit of epoxy mixed with sawdust, just like I did previously, letting that sit overnight. And then I'll be able to come back and drill in the holes into the teeth using a tungsten carbide bit. Now the bit that I'm using here is I think a little bit smaller than the original bit that I was using on those teeth, but it's almost the same size so it doesn't make too big of a difference. I just kind of work the hole a little bit larger as I'm working on it. And then the next step here is to clean up any excess glue and or shavings using that little disc there. Uh, it's just a wire disc. Um, there's a couple of spots here that I just wanted to do some additional final cleanup on before I oiled it. But other than that, it was pretty much ready to oil because I'd already sanded it to 320. In fact, that was what I, how I removed the original finish or at least the outer edge of the finish. And so as soon as I had that cleaned up, I could take it straight to here and get it finished up or get it oiled up. Now my camera ended up dying halfway through oiling it up. <laughs> so it skipped right to the end of, of that, which I guess is a good thing. You get to see the oiled piece right away. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna let this sit overnight, uh, give it 24 hours for that tongue oil to cure. And then uh, the next day here, I'm gonna be lashing up the teeth. And this will really be the last step of this piece is lashing up the teeth, uh, just because I'm not going to be lashing up a new wrist strap. And I'm gonna do the same style of lash. Now the cordage I have is a little bit different than the original cordage. It's a darker cordage. I started using this uh, a few years ago, which is another reason why I know that piece was old. Um, it's just because it had that lighter cordage, which I haven't used in a long time. Um, I started using the darker cordage a few years back. I just really liked its look, um, and it tended to have a nice contrast with the coal wood that I was using it with. Uh, but for this piece, uh, again, it's the cordage that I had, and I think it looks good anyway. It has a nice uh, flow and feel to it. So I do a simple, simple triangle pattern all the way down on one side, then back the other, and then I knot it. Uh, and then I have, I take the, the tails of the knot and I push those into the remaining holes. And then I put one final coat on the piece and, and clean it up. And so here is the final finished refurbished, <laughs> is a tongue twister piece. It's a beautiful piece. It's a very simple piece. It's definitely not as complex as some of the larger pieces that I make, but I do love its simplicity. And I do love that dark curly koa. Absolutely gorgeous, especially with those smaller tiger shark teeth. Beautiful piece. And then here's the piece out in the natural light. So you can see those edges that I cleaned up. So it's got nice, sharp, clean edges now going on the underside of the handle, whereas previously they weren't as sharp. I just didn't like it as much. But I really like the way this turned out. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. I have some awesome projects coming up in the future, so I'm super excited about that. Mahalo Nui for everyone that follows along and watches my projects, and I will see you in the next video. Aloha.